From overpowered mythics like Thanos and Fanny Gauntlet and the Infinity Blade to absolute trash like a cardboard box, this is the evolution of mythic items in Fortnite. Our first mythic was added in Chapter 1 Season 4 when Fortnite changed the game forever by releasing the Infinity Gauntlet. To this day, this is one of Fortnite's coolest mythics of all time and this was a collaboration with Marvel for the new Infinity War movie. At the time, we didn't have any Marvel collab skins in the game so when fans found out you could pick this Infinity Gauntlet up and turn into Thanos, players rushed to get on the game. This was one of the most popular mythics of all time, but the same can't be said about our next mythic. This is the Infinity Blade, and this item brought up a lot of controversy and people even started to boycott Fortnite. Although the Infinity Gauntlet was only available through LTMs, that's not the case for the Infinity Blade. The reason this weapon brought a lot of controversy was because this was one of the most broken items in Fortnite's history, and they even allowed it in pro matches. You would have the entire lobby trying to land on this thing, and because only one player could get this overpowered mythic, you would be lucky to make it out of there. After all the backlash, Fortnite removed it and it hasn't been seen since. Fans might not want the Infinity Blade to return, but I would bet they probably want the next mythic to return because after the controversy, Fortnite took some inspiration from their first mythic and went back to Marvel. These mythics were a part of a collaboration with the Avengers called the Endgame LTM. These were some of the most popular mythics of all time, including Iron Man's gloves, Captain America's shield, Hawkeye's bow, and Thor's Stormbreaker. If you're on Team Thanos, you could get the returning Infinity Gauntlet or Chitauri laser and energy rifles and the jetpack. This was one of the most fun LTMs ever. I wish Fortnite would do more LTMs like this today. After the second Marvel collab, DC Universe wanted in on the fun, so that's when we got a Batman crossover along with some Batman themed mythics. This crossover released with two mythic items being the explosive Batarang and Batman's Grapnel Gun. Although Batman's Grapnel Gun was just an upgraded version of the Grappler, the explosive Batarangs were awesome, so it'd be cool to see another Batman crossover in the future where maybe these mythic items could return. In Chapter 2 Season 1, we got a mythic you probably probably didn't even know existed with a mythic goldfish. This item had a 1 in a million chance at spawning, so most of us have never even seen this mythic in game. If you did manage to try it though, it was pretty overpowered as you could throw this at somebody and instantly down them. Don't worry though because this wasn't the only mythic we got this season because later that season we got the addition of the fan favorite lightsabers. Fortnite fans had always wanted a Star Wars collab and seeing mythic lightsabers add to the game was awesome. For our first round of lightsabers, we received the ones that belonged to Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, Mace Windu and Rey. Star Wars lightsabers became some of the most popular mythics and we would see these return many times in the future. Now at this point we had used quite a few mythic items but none of us were ready for what was about to happen in chapter 2 season 2 as Fortnite dropped 7 new mythics this season. Each had its own boss and this is basically the model Fortnite uses today. This season's mythics were some of the best ever with Sky's mythic scar and grappler, Tiantina's kaboombo, Deadpool's hand cannon, Meow School's piao piao rifle, Brutus's mini gun, and last but definitely not least, Maida's drum gun. All of these items were very popular and gave you a great reward for eliminating the bosses. As awesome as all those mythics were, they were all taken away with the arrival of Season 3. Season 3 dropped with cool mythics of its own though, with Jules, Drum Gun, and Grappler, the overpowered Kit's Charge Shotgun and Shockwave Launcher. Spoiler alert, this combination was deadly. We also got Ocean's Bottomless Chug Jug, which was literally a Chug Jug that never ran out. One mythic that released this season that almost no one knows about because it had a 1 in 10,000 spawn rate or the mythic mushrooms. These would completely fill your shield and it's a good thing these are rare because they were kind of overpowered. Season 3's mythics were awesome but what we would get in season 4 would break the internet. Season 4 brought us our first and only ever collab season with Marvel and we got a ton of Marvel themed mythics. Season 4 had a total of 14 mythic items with 12 of them being Marvel themed. Because there's so many, I'm gonna run through them very quickly. We got Venom Smash and Grab, Doctor Doom's Mythical Bomb and Arcane Gauntlets, Groot's Bramble Shield, the Silver Surfboard, Iron Man's Unibeam and Iron Man's Repulsor Gauntlets, Thor's Molnir Strike, Storm's Whirlwind Blast, and Wolverine's Claws. The Marvel Mythics were awesome, but if you thought we were done, you'd be wrong, because later that season for Fort Nightmares, we also got the Broomstick, which was basically a Halloween-themed reskin of Silver Surfboard and Shadow Midas drum gun. The mythics this season kind of got out of hand and although they could be a lot of fun, fans kind of thought they were too unbalanced. So because of this, in Fortnite Season 5, Epic decided to chill out with the mythics. This season's mythics were both Star Wars themed, but they weren't lightsabers and these were a lot more balanced. 
This season kicked off with the addition of Amban's sniper rifle and Mandalorian's jetpack. These items were a lot less controversial with the Fortnite community because these items were a lot more balanced while still staying on brand with their crossover. Later that season when the secret skin Predator came to the island, he got his own mythic with Predator's cloaking device. This item is used like a lot of the newer invisibility items in Fortnite except if you stood still with this one it would make you completely invisible. Fortnite fans started to miss the original mythic item so in Fortnite Primal they solved this by adding the Primal Shotgun, Raz Explosive Bow, Spire Assassin's Recycler, and the Spire Jump Boots. All of these items were fairly balanced and even though this was a really unpopular season, the mythics were still pretty good. Fortnite Invasion brought some interesting mythics to go with the alien theme of the season like Zyg and Choppy's Ray Gun which was extremely weak and kind of a waste of an item slot. But to make up for it we got Sloan's Mythic Pulse Rifle which was basically a reskin of the Stark Energy Rifle and this thing was awesome. Moving on to Fortnite Cube, predictably we got cube themed mythics like the sideways rifle and the sideways minigun, neither of which were too exciting. However, we also got the sideways scythe which may have been a little too strong but was a really fun mythic. These items were actually upgradable by collecting cube parts and you could start with a common weapon and turn it into a mythic with enough cube parts. My favorite mythic of this season was Sloan's burst assault rifle. The burst assault rifles have always been a fan favorite and this one is no different because this was an awesome mythic weapon. Later in the season we also got the venom and carnage symbiote mythics which were a collaboration for the Venom Let There Be Carnage movie. These basically worked like the Venom mythic in season 4 but with the addition of glider redeploy. It wasn't the only late collaboration though because when Naruto came to Fortnite we saw the addition of the paper bomb kunai explosive and to be honest these were kind of underwhelming they weren't really that good. Going into chapter 3 Fortnite knew they had to bring us some good mythics so we'd love the new chapter and let's just say Fortnite cooked. First we got the foundations mk7 assault rifle which was a super accurate assault rifle and it was our first ever red dot scoped weapon. More importantly, Fortnite gave us the Spider-Man gloves, which are probably the most popular Fortnite mythic ever. This was one of the best traversal items in Fortnite's history. These came with 80 total shots and these were just some of the most fun items to use. On top of that, we saw Gunner Stinger SMG, which was solid. And to top it off, this season also had the Victory Crown, which I guess is technically a mythic item. In Fortnite Resistance, we saw the return of Sloan's Burst AR are now called Sloan Striker Burst AR. The only difference was this was now first person aim down sight similar to the MK7. We also got Huntmaster Saber's Thermal Rifle which wasn't a very popular as is the case with most thermal scoped ARs. Moving on to Fortnite Vibin though we got a nice collection of mythic items with the Mythic Hammer Assault Rifle, the Two Shot Shotgun, the Rapid Fire SMG, and the Cobra DMR. To get these items you had to plant a reality sapling and these items were fun and pretty well balanced. Those aren't the only mythic we got in Vibin though because later in the season when Fortnite dropped the Dragon Ball Z crossover they added the Kamehameha in the Nimbus Cloud. The Kamehameha worked very similar to Iron Man's Uni Beam and was super overpowered and overall fans like these items. Once Darth Vader was given an NPC in Fortnite Vibin we also saw the addition of Darth Vader's lightsaber which was a highly requested item. Next we had Fortnite Paradise which brought us chrome themed mythic items like the Evo Chrome Shotgun and Burst Rifle. These weapons automatically upgraded to mythics just by doing damage. There was also the Herald's Burst Assault Rifle which was basically a worse clone of the Evo Chrome Burst Rifle. We also got the Inquisitor's Suppressed SMG which was a mythic version of the OG Suppressed SMG. During Fort Nightmares we saw the addition of Howler's Claws Mythic which were a clone of the Wolverine Claws. Because they were added for Fort Nightmares they didn't last long. Bringing us to Chapter 4 we got two mythic weapons with the Excalibur Rifle which wasn't commonly used by players and was thought to be pretty weak. But on the other hand we got a really overpowered mythic with the Shockwave Hammer which was one of the best traversal weapons Fortnite has ever seen. We did end up getting a collab mythic later in the season for My Hero Academia with the Deku Smash Mythic. This mythic was really similar similar to the Kamehameha. In Fortnite Mega, Epic decided they needed to switch things up and ended up giving us a ton of new mythics based around the Chapter 4 loot pool, like the Mythic Tactical Pistol, High Cards Havoc Suppressed AR, and the Enhanced Havoc Shotgun, which was super good and was known for having a one-shot headshot. On top of that, we also got the Overclocked Pulse Rifle and some Attack on Titan items with the ODM gear and the Thunder Spears. These items were pretty cool and the ODM gear was basically a reskin of the Grapple Gloves. Speaking of gloves, during Fortnite Mega, we also saw the short return of Spider-Man's gloves in the form of the Spider-Verse web shooters with the addition of Miles Morales. Fans were hyped to see these come back as these were some of the most popular mythics in Fortnite. Bringing us to Fortnite Wilds, we got the myth
Mythic Flapjack Rifle, which although it wasn't a great Mythic, this was a really cool looking assault rifle. We also got the Enhanced Drum Shotgun and the Cloak Gauntlets, which were basically a reskin of the Predator's cloaking device. The most exciting addition to this season was a remake of the MK7 called the MK Alpha Assault Rifle, which although it wasn't as good as the original, was still a great addition to the loot pool. Next we got Fortnite Last Resort, and this season had a ton of Mythics, because on top of having its own set of Mythics, it also brought back a ton of classics. People were really excited to play Season 4 as it brought back some of the most iconic mythics in Fortnite's history. On top of the classics, this season also had its own original mythics with Diamond's Thermal DMR, Heart's Havoc Shotgun, Thorn's Scoped Burst SMG, and the Infiltrator Pump Shotgun. Overall, this season had an awesome variety of mythics and nothing felt better than stealing one of Fortnite's classic mythics from a glass case. Later in the season with the arrival of Ahsoka Tano, we also got Ahsoka's lightsaber added to the game, which was a welcome addition. Because Fortnite OG went off the classic loot pool, we didn't really get any mythics in Fortnite OG. Which brings us to the start of Chapter 5, which started off with simple boss mythics like Oscar's Frenzy Auto Shotgun, Montague's Enforcer Assault Rifle, Valeria's Hyper SMG, Nisha's Striker Assault Rifle, and Peter Griffin's Hammer Pump Shotgun. All of these items are pretty good, but the only downside is that these items aren't customizable at upgrade benches, so if you don't like the attachments a certain mythic carries, you're kind of out of luck. In a later update, Fortnite added the EMP Stealth Camo, which is pretty solid as it works the same as Predator's cloaking device, and it's really good for being sneaky, especially in Zero Build. On the other hand, we also got probably the worst mythic of all time, as Fortnite added a cardboard box. Let's just say this item probably should have been a different rarity. Later that season though, we got the Ninja Turtles collab, and to go along with it, Fortnite introduced mythics for each of the Ninja Turtles characters, with Donatello's staff, Leonardo's katanas, Michelangelo's nunchucks, and Raphael's Psy. All of these items were really fun and fit the theme of the collaboration perfectly. Now that Season 2 is finally here, we've gotten some awesome mythics to fit the theme of the new season, with the best being the Thunderbolt of Zeus. The Thunderbolt of Zeus is one of the coolest mythics we've ever gotten. We also received some regular mythic weapons for beating bosses like Hades Harbringer SMG, Cerberus Gatekeeper Shotgun, Zeus Huntress DMR, and Ares Warforged Assault Rifle. These items are all pretty strong and Fortnite definitely cooked with the mythics this season. But let me know in the comments which mythic item in Fortnite was your favorite as that actually wraps up today's video. So if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like the one on screen now.